Hello everyone, welcome to an empties video. This is where I take products that I've completely used up or for one reason or another stopped using. I will give you speed reviews, highlight the best parts of them, the worst parts of them, and tell you if I would repurchase them or not. Thank you so much for being a subscriber to the channel. Please go follow over on Instagram at the handle in the upper left or right hand corner if you aren't already following. And of course, if you missed the latest video, I will also link that in the upper right hand corner for you to go check out if you haven't seen it already. If there are some really standout products, I will link them in the description box below for you so you can find out where to get them yourself as well as any discount codes that I can provide for you. In terms of my makeup look, my eyes are completely done with Kaleidos' newest uh, flower punk eyeshadow palette, which looks like that. You can also see it over on Instagram. And I also use one of the matte liquid lipsticks for my lips. Actually, I combined two of the shades, the first one and the last one. All right, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna go in random order. I used up a Tree Hut Olive and Shea Body Butter in the scent Hawaiian Kukui. This um, I use mainly on my feet because on the body, it's just too greasy and oily. So an affordable way if you want to really nourish your feet and put socks on during the nighttime, but otherwise, a little too greasy for my taste. Versed uh, Guards of Daily Mineral Sunscreen. It is SPF 30, I believe, and it is tinted. I used it all up. Um, I liked this just fine. The only reason I wouldn't repurchase it is just because I like my Paula's Choice one so much better. I like the texture a little bit better. Um, it's a little more satiny or matte than this shade. And this tint, uh, even though it doesn't really show up on the skin, the tint is a little bit kind of on the peachy side, whereas the one from Paula's Choice is more on the gray tone side side, which I like more, but um, this is definitely not a bad sunscreen at all. This is probably my second finished tub and I'm already finishing or starting my third. This is the Hush and Hush Plant Your Day. This is a dietary supplement in a chocolate flavor. It is much more than a protein powder. It does have protein um, in it, but it has very little sugar, which is great. It only has one gram of added sugar, 17 grams of protein per two scoops, but it also has probiotics in here, just a packed full of really good things for your body all in one powder. So you don't have to be buying a whole bunch of different powders and trying to mix them. So definitely recommend this and I will continue to use this has a bunch of superfoods and super greens and it is plant protein based. A toothpaste duo that I've used up that I really enjoyed and was kind of surprised by how much I liked it. This is by the company Twice and they have a morning toothpaste and a nighttime toothpaste. Not that you have to follow that strictly, but the morning time is called the early bird wintergreen and peppermint. So it helps kind of wake you up. And then the nighttime one is called twilight with the peppermint with vanilla and lavender flavor, which I thought is very unique and I really enjoyed. Um, it does whiten, it does whiten it has cavity prevention, you know, standard things you should expect out of your toothpaste. And I really enjoyed using these. Tried and true toners from Paula's Choice. Any of them will be a good choice, but the one that I finished up with the Skin Recovery Enriched Calming Toner for normal to dry skin, because it was more in the winter time that I was using this. Again, no irritating ingredients, no fragrances, very nourishing uh, antioxidant based ingredients in Paula's Choice's toners. You cannot go wrong with any of them. A shampoo and conditioner set by 100% Pure. This is the Honey and Virgin Coconut um, scent. I like the scent, but I didn't enjoy the formula of these. The conditioner was too thin, it didn't stick to my hair enough, didn't nourish it enough, and the shampoo also was kind of thin um, and runny and didn't give me kind of the suds that I wanted. A sunscreen by Dear Claire's. This is the Soft Airy UV Essence, uh, SPF 50 PA++++. It is a gel formulated sunscreen, blends beautifully and sinks beautifully into the skin. So lightweight, no greasy texture or feel, and absolutely no white cast. I would definitely be interested in trying this again. A face moisturizer I really liked. This is from Lifeline, I think, um, is the company Pro Plus Daily Defense Complex with peptides and human stem cells, um, air airtight uh, dispenser. So great um, ingredients in this, it's just super expensive. So I probably don't think it's worth the price point to repurchase. From Baba Botanicals, this is the Daily Shear Sunscreen SPF 40. It's 100% mineral sunscreen. Um, I enjoyed this for the body, maybe your feet, but it is a little too greasy with a slight white cast to use on my face. Juara or Juara? I think it's Juara. This company has bath products. This smells divine. This is the Candle Nut uh, Hydrating Shower Gel, sulfate-free cleanser, soft and moisturizes and 
refreshes. I agree with that completely. Um, and a beautiful, beautiful fragrance and rinses really nicely, cleans really nicely without stripping the skin. Another shampoo and conditioner duo. This is by Mark Daniels Professional, the Lush Luminous Blonde line. You don't have to be blonde to use these purple-based products. They help combat brassiness or orangey red tones in your hair. I really enjoyed using these and I really liked the scent too. Very strong purple tint to them. I actually like the ones that I mentioned in my favorites video this past or just this past few weeks um, from Amika. Those purple based products I like even more, but these are great too. With summer self tanning, much healthier than actually tanning your skin in the sun. This is the Saint Maurice, uh, Moritz, M-O-R-I-Z, uh, M-O-R-I-Z Velvet Finish Tanning Gel in the medium tone. I really like this. I like the gel formulation of this. Gives you a nice, wonderful, healthy looking tan. Doesn't smell horrible, although all self tanners have that self tanner scent, no matter how much fragrance a company inserts into the product to try to cover it up. Use countless numbers of these from Paula's Choice, the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This is salicylic acid. Um, it's a liquid and I will continue to purchase this probably for the rest of my life. Um, it is something that is so versatile. I use it under my arms. I use it on my legs. I use it on my back. I use it in the bikini area. I use it on my face. I use it on the backs of the arms for keratosis perlaris to help combat um, after shaving, ingrown hairs, red bumps, uh, acne, so, so versatile. Absolutely one of my number one all time skincare products at the top. Elf Nourishing Facial Oil, very affordable. I actually use this to mix in with my moisturizers for my body um, to help give an extra layer of boost and just shine and really nice looking skin. A product from the company Glow Point Naturals, the VC Smart Natural Serum. This is 20% vitamin C, um, although I don't think it's L-ascorbic acid, 5% niacinamide, 5% hyaluronic acid, 4% kojic acid. Had kind of a, ro a rose scent to it. Gel-based, really nice formulation, although I don't really know how effective the vitamin C in here was. Have used up countless numbers of these, will continue to purchase one of the all time uh, best, especially affordable drugstore moisturizers for the face. CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, lightweight, um, has a bunch of ceramides in it, fantastic. Ugh, so dirty from Zion Health, a scalp and hair scrub in a green apple scent. I loved the way that this smelled. It's like candy apple or caramel apple, that smell. Mm. It's a bunch of uh, salt or sugar granules and you rub it into the, the scalp. It's a physical exfoliator. It's quite um, abrasive, but you're using it on your scalp. So, um, and you know, can help to remove those dry flakies. One of my all time favorite body moisturizers. This is from Drunk Elephant, actually quite affordable. Gosh, these are also grody, um, but quite affordable, especially for a drunk elephant. The Silly Body Lotion um, has ceramides in it, marula butter. It is fantastically formulated to nourish the skin and give it that healthy, you know, nourished glow, not glow, but nourished look without being heavy at all or greasy in the slightest. Fantastic. Something I bought on Amazon, I think the company is NXN, the C Change Vitamin C Glow Serum made with BVOSC, vitamin C, who knows what that is. Um, again, I don't think this is l ascorbic acid, so I used it up, but I wouldn't repurchase this. This is a benzoyl peroxide based um, cleanser. It doesn't have to be from this brand, but I absolutely will continue and have used up several bottles of a benzoyl peroxide based cleanser. I keep it in my shower. I use it for the underarms. I leave it on there for at least a minute or two. It really helps combat body odor. Of course, I use it on my face too, um, for if I, if I want some acne treatment or anti acne um, combating, but um, using it under the underarms is kind of a skincare hack for benzoyl peroxide based cleansers. Oh, and this one is 10%, but you don't have to get that high of a concentration. An Innistree toner. I think this is my second fully used bottle, the Green Tea Fresh Toner. I really enjoy this. Um, very lightweight, refreshing, great for the skin. Oh man, I've used up two full bottles of the same Paul's Choice Toner. Again, the skin recovery one that I mentioned before. Oh, another Babo Botanicals SPF 30 Clear Zinc Sunscreen. Um, this one is exactly the same in terms of my comments as the other Babo 
botanical sunscreen that I mentioned. This is another Paul's Trace 2% BHA salicylic acid. I think this is just the old packaging, so you can see that I've used up several bottles of these. Oh, another supplement powder that I really have enjoyed. This is by Kos um, Organic Greens Blend. These are fantastic if you have trouble getting in your um, vegetables and fruits for the day. Um, it has a ton of different things like chlorella powder, spirulina, wheatgrass, broccoli, uh, bell pepper, kale, all those kinds of stuff. So a great way to get those in um, and uh, you can purchase this through Amazon. A steel eyeliner that um, I had been storing and <laughs> When I went back to it, it's just completely dried up. Otherwise, I would have loved to use it. It's the Stila Got Inked Cushion Eyeliner in the shade Copper Ink, which is like a shimmery bronzy shade, but um, yeah, it's just completely dried up. Laneige, the Sleep Care Sika Sleeping Mask. Um, I was enjoying this at first, but then I realized it has a bunch of added fragrance in it, so I reverted to using it just on my hands and my feet. I wouldn't repurchase this. Ooh, probably don't even sell, make this anymore. Sell it, Smashbox Photo Op under Eye Brightening Illuminator. Has like a really subtle sheen to it. Honestly, don't know if it makes a difference even if it existed, wouldn't repurchase it. Paula's Choice, um, the original uh, scent, I guess you would say. I forget what it's called, but it's basically a lip balm. You can also use it on your cuticles, anywhere you kind of need that Vaseline-y type of protective layer, very good. They also have tinted versions of this too. I used up, uh, finally, the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hiding Creating Ceramide Moisturizer in the winter time. This was really nice to have, um, quite thick, slightly, um, I don't want to say greasy, but it's quite rich, has a spatula, metal spatula that attaches to the top. My only gripe is, um, well, it's kind of a love and a gripe. I love the way that it's shaped like a honeycomb, but it also makes it quite difficult to make sure you get in all the little nooks and crannies to get all of the product out. Used up sort of a deluxe sample size of Ava NYC's Therapy Session Hair Mask. I really like this. I think it works well. I think it smells great. Um, so it's, and it's a very affordable uh, hair brand on the market. Love this Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment. It has niacinamide, tranexamic acid, kochic acid, alpha arbutin, pentapeptides. This is for combating hyperpigmentation spots. I especially use this during the times that I was doing my TCA peels. If you want a beginner's guide, a complete step-by-step -step process and tips for how to do your own at-home TCA peels, please go check out this video that I'll link in the upper right-hand corner for you. This is one of my number one products to make sure to use while you're doing that process or even if you're not doing a peel to combat hyperpigmentation it is expensive so i purchased these during sephora's vib sales but the ingredients is just jam packed totally worth it already have backups of this that i will be using does paul's choice make this anymore this is a clinical scar reducing serum with um quercetin quercetin i don't know how to pronounce that and vitamin c um this I've used on, I had a pretty serious um, cut, I guess, to my leg and to my top of my foot. So I've used that, but you can use this with any scarring, even on top of kind of old pimples, things like that. Um, I don't know if they sell this anymore. If they do, I will repurchase this. New NEU Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. Didn't do anything. Resist from Paula's Choice line, anti-aging lip gloss with SPF 40. I really like these. I find it quite hard to get the last bit out of the tube. That's my only gripe, but otherwise fantastic SPF lip balm. Another e.l.f. nourishing facial oil, another Paula's Choice. Wow, three of them, 2% uh, BHA exfoliating liquid, a dose of colors. Do they even exist anymore in the shade Playdate? It's just too old. Um, it gets really grody when I try to put it on my lips, so it's gone bad. From The Ordinary, Azelaic Acid Suspension 10%. This is great not only for, I think, pigmentation, but also for acne. Um, so this is a very affordable way to get kind of an, I think, underrated ingredient for those purposes. So definitely check this out and we'll definitely repurchase. I have Benefits Bad Gal Lash. Um, I enjoyed this mascara. It's on the expensive side, so I wouldn't necessarily repurchase it, but I enjoyed using it. I think it gave good results. The Ordinary's Buffet plus Popper, Copper Peptides 1%, uh, pretty much the only copper peptides base uh, product on the market that isn't exuberant.
exorbitantly expensive. I have used many bottles of this. I have repurchased already several bottles of this and I will continue to do so. Another product I love, they have new packaging. It's in a tube now, but this is the old packaging, BHA9 from Paula's Choice in the Resist line, a super concentrated salicylic acid or beta hydroxy acid based product. This is more for spot treatment if I have a really stubborn um, acne pimple or if I have an ingrown hair, putting this on top of that, fantastic. We are speeding through these. Okay, the Pro 50, uh, this is a probiotic that I purchased on Amazon, I believe. This was really good. It's kind of hard to make sure you're getting the right uh, probiotics, make sure they're live cultures or whatever, um, but I think this one's pretty effective. So if you want to look online, Pro 50, I think the company is Vitamin Bounty, um, 13 probiotic strains, 50 billion organisms, um, and there are 60 capsules that you get in there. Oh, I love this product from The Body Shop. It is a lip stain. Um, it is the Lip and Cheek Stain. I think they only have one shade, but it's 01. I think this is probably, uh, I've, I've had several empties of these over many, many, many years. A beautiful kind of berry toned pinkish color. Um, will repurchase that if they still sell this. Uh, I guess I used up a pretty vulgar mascara uh, in a travel size. I don't remember if I was super impressed by this or not. I, oh, I think it dried out, so. Nah, I don't have an opinion on that. This product is by Dr. Babor, the Lifting RX Dual Eye Solution. It's dual ended. You have an AM or uh, um, eye cream day and an eye cream night. I couldn't believe how long this lasted me. Um, and I enjoyed the dif different textures, a little more thin and lightweight for the morning time, a little more thick and nourishing for the nighttime. Paul's Choice Resist 10% Niacinamide Booster. If you want to help the appearance of pores and smoothness, then niacinamide is a great ingredient to add to your skincare. Definitely will repurchase. From Yada, another Asian um, skincare company, Pore Refining Foam Cleanser. Very, very foamy. Don't know that I would necessarily repurchase this, um, but I used it mainly with my Clarisonic and yeah, lots of sensing with this. Another, the Ordinary Buffet Copper Peptides 1% empty bottle. Getting down to it, an eyebrow duo that I pretty much completely used up from e.l.f. Um, it says it's the shade medium, but there was a period of time where e.l.f. was totally mislabeling all the colors for their eyebrow products. I don't actually know what shade this is. Anyway, um, on one side you have a powder, on the other side you have a, um, like a cream, I guess. Um, so you can, it kind of helps set the eyebrows. Uh, I think very affordable way to do your brows. I'm actually starting um, or in the middle of another um, duo from e.l.f. for the eyebrows in a lighter shade. Lorax 3D Liquid Lusters. I don't think they make these anymore, but they dried up pretty quickly. I liked them when I was able to use them. Wow, I have a lot of supplements in this video for you guys. I mean, I guess good. This is Moon Juice, the Super U Dietary Supplement. Ah, uh, it has ashwagandha, it has all these other things. Um, it's supposed to reduce fatigue. Um, I didn't notice unfortunately, any sort of difference. The Ordinary's Amino Acids Plus B5. Um, again, just make sure you look at the ingredients, look at the actives, see if those actives aggress, uh, aggress, <laughs> address specific skincare concerns that you have. But, you know, the Ordinary is super, super affordable, but they have kind of one or two note products. I don't really, I don't mind that. Um, it lets you pick and choose really and concentrate what you want to concentrate on. But yeah, we'll definitely repurchase this too. A lipstick from Too Faced, again, it's just gone bad. Looks horrible and streaky on the lips. Pale pink color. This was the shade Marshmallow Bunny. I love these lip stain markers. They don't really sell them on the market anymore, but there was a period of time where a bunch of drugstore companies were selling these and I wish they would go back to making these. This specific one is by NYC. It was the Smooch Proof Lip Stain 16 Hours. This was in the shade shade orange on the go. Loved these. It's just I've used them all up and it's dry now. So this is a um, fluid line from MAC. Love these formulas. It's in the shade Our Secret. I love the shade, but this is like my fourth or fifth time reconstituting it because it dries out and um, I just can't do it anymore. So it's kind of just dried out and at the end of its life, but I have it's been well loved and I've really enjoyed it while I've used it. Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. Um, this is good for dry skin, but I feel like it has some slightly, I think it's like eucalyptus based ingredients that can be kind of irritating. And the last product is I used up an OPI Infinite Shine Step 3. This is a top coat. The Infinite Shine range from OPI is fantastic. It's 
almost like getting gel nails without having to go through that really damaging process. So if you want super long wearing top coats, look at the Infinite Shine line from OPI. All right, those are your speedy reviews. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Thank you as always for taking the time to watch. Leave any comments below that you would like or any requests for future videos. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.